presidential proclamation designating the week of March 8th as National Women's History Week was issued by President Jimmy Carter in February 1980. Succeeding presidents continue to proclaim a National Women's History Week until 1987, when Congress officially designated March, which we are in now, as Women's History Month. Hello, I am Superintendent Dr. Tanja Williams, and in today's episode, we're taking a special look at Women's History Month. From science, to politics, to sports, Women's History Month is an opportunity for all of us to learn about all that has been accomplished by so many trailblazing women in our society and culture, as well as why it is important to look back on their historical importance. Now let's hear about Women's History Month directly from some of our students who attend Early Childhood Center Public School number 17. This school is led by a female role model in her own right, Principal Mariana Cicchini. Hello, my name is Alejandro. I'm in the fourth grade and I am in school 17 and I'm going to be talking about Women's History Month. The woman I chose is Elo Ocho and I think Women's History means that women achieve their goals. And why I like Ellen Ocho is because I like to learn more about my culture. Ellen Ocho is famous because she's the first Hispanic woman to ever go in space. She got a master's degree at San Diego State. She's incredible. Not only she got her electric degree, she also went to NASA. Not only she makes me proud of my heritage, she makes me proud of all the women in my life. Hello, my name is Leanna Fisher, and I'm from PS17. And the woman I chose is Malala Yousafzai. She's important because she fought for girls' education. She lived in Pakistan under the Taliban. Under the Taliban, girls couldn't even go to school. Malala Yousafzai devoted her life to change that. Because of her bravery, she won the Nobel Peace Prize. My name is Alan Colbert Beals. I go to PS 17 and I'm in the fourth grade. And I will be in introducing Katanji Brown Jackson and some things about her life. Most people know Katanji Brown Jackson because she was the first African American on the Supreme Court. A lot of people don't know that Katanji Brown Jackson graduated from Harvard University. The Supreme Court is the highest court in the land and there's nine members to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court gets to review all of our important laws. Thankfully, Katanji Brown Jackson is on that court. We hope you choose a powerful woman to learn about too. Wow, as you have just heard, our students have some inspiring women role models that are having a real and lasting impact on their lives. Thank you for watching today's episode and please be sure to share it with your friends and family. And until next time, remember, there are more ways than ever to get all kinds of great content about the Buffalo Public Schools, including by following us on Instagram, X, and Facebook. Be well, stay safe, and peace.